um, Leonardo. And so you, you just can't, you know, what you try to do, it's like you just forge your little niche out and just keep working. Because the next thing you know, it's been, I've been doing this for 25 years. You know what my favorite working. story that you told, it still is, out of everything that we've ever heard on this show? Uh -huh. You know what I'm going to say? What what? One's that? When R Rob was the one, I believe, maybe I got it wrong, you were the one who told me the Steven Seagal story. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You. you got a new oh, one? Oh, that he wrote the greatest screenplay. I got your Wait, but tell that, wait, wait. Okay. Just for anyone who's never heard that, oh, it's, tell the it's first the story. Okay, there's a writer that I know, and I won't mention his name, but he uh, was meeting F Steven Seagal for <laughs> the rewrite, for, for the writing, potentially, for Under Siege 2. Right. The, you know, and that was the one that broke him when it made right. $57 million when that was $57 million right. in the early 90s. And so he goes into one of those trailers, you know, to meet with Steven Seagal, and he's on the set, and it's one of those big triple bangers where you, you go into this trailer and it's like you can get lost in there it's a maze of <laughs> pop outs you know it's like, uh, which pop out is steven seagal and he's in the third bedroom to the left and the end of the big hall. star and he's waiting in there for 45 minutes he's making him wait sitting there by himself finally steven seagal emerges from one of the other <laughs> ante rooms in the mobile home and he comes out and he said i just read the greatest script i've ever read in my life <laughs> he goes, really who wrote it I did. <laughs> but I will say there's a newer one, and I think it's even superior. It's uh, this has happened. I just heard that because I collect those stories like right. jewels. Anytime there's <laughs> Steven Seagal story, I like love I love that. the Jamie Presley one. Where I'm an expert in shiatsu massage. Please let me massage you. You know, you told me that one. And she, <laughs> next thing you know, she's having her boobs grabbed on by him. <laughs> I'm an I'm expert in shiatsu massage. Uh, let me give me those titties, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he, he's doing a movie. <laughs> He's doing a movie with Keenan Ivory Wayans. Right. And, um, and I, I did one, and that's where I, I heard Keenan tell me this story. I hope he doesn't mind me telling this story. But um, he, uh, uh, Steven Seagal had just met with the Dalai Lama. And apparently, <laughs> if you give enough money to the Dalai Lama's charities, eventually you get something out of it. Right. And so the Dalai Lama made him a deity. Wow. A god. Wow. Some <laughs> Tibetan Buddhist. Uh, that you know. must have really appealed to his ego. Oh, yeah, I know. It must yeah. have. No, we were so anyway, he comes to the set after he makes you the dialogue. I mean, he comes now, he's a god. He comes to the set now. He was Stephen Seagal. Now he's Stephen Seagal. Now he's Stephen Seagal, the god, the deity from the Dalai Lama. Wow. And he comes to the set, and uh, he's, you know, he's there, and he says, So what? Well, I just met with the Dalai Lama, and he, in his wisdom, decided to make me. A deity, <laughs> and he gives him the the quaint karang the dong, the ding the dong the dong, whatever. And then, so now, and I f you know, I feel a difference. I feel like I, an enlightenment, the sense of <laughs> that I can do something now, and everything just seems to come into place for me spiritually and in my career. And I feel like it's certain certain things now that never made sense to me make sense to me on a universal level. And his assistant comes up to him and says, Hey, Stephen, uh, your, your ex-wife called. You can't bring the kids over this weekend. You tell that fucking cunt. <laughs> if she doesn't get those kids over here, I'll break her fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> Deity.